Oh, someone's clicked on our keyboard. It's me. Yeah, tell me about it. He masses these keyboards, doesn't he? <clears throat> it's a mechanical keyboard. Oh, okay. No, those are still hoppers! <laughs> Maybe what I'm thinking of is hoppers, but they don't... I think I'm thinking of the freaking dump trucks too much right now. Are you thinking of dump trailers? Yes, I'm thinking of dump trailers. Okay, that's also different than an open top. <laughs> well, yes, I know it's different from an open top, but it's what I could think of. Okay, well, re-explain re -explain the conversation again. I could probably tell you what's what. N nothing. We were just making an argument about trailers looking weird and then uh, seeing them on a day-to-day -day basis and having that day-to-day -day basis making them not look weird. Well, I say European trailers look weird because they're not. Well, European trailers are weird. That that's just a fact. Well, right, but I'm just saying. This is yeah, exactly. Uh, did I get kicked? No, I didn't get kicked. Cool. We can get back in game. I am. Cause I want to go drive. All right, next service. Where are you guys heading? Uh, you're at service where? Albuquerque. Oh, we're in Gallup. Oh, yeah, we're in Gallup. I have a trailer going back to Albuquerque, actually. So we're not easy. going back oh. to Albuquerque. We're going back to Albuquerque to get Rusty. Ah, uh, can't Rusty come over here? It's literally no. like a 200 mile trip. It's fine. <laughs> exactly. So we can go back over there. I don't have one to Albuquerque. I had one going to Albuquerque a minute ago. It's gone. <laughs> well, we're not going back well, to Albuquerque. You always, what, what do you have the garage? You could always uh, quick travel. Or no, you could just stop being lazy and drive, drive over here. To, no, see, so just drive up to Gallup. Bob oh, Gallup. Guys, wow, that is spicy. What do you guys have for loads up there? Oh my goodness. Nothing, nothing that I want to haul. Hmm. I have a transformer. <laughs> I hate you. Going to Oxnard. Oh man, this is really spicy. <laughs> I have a lift, a lift truck chassis going to Oxnard. But that, I don't. I have a... Who? I don't even look. Curtain side white dry van going to Oxnard. I might have to go get oh, some milk. Go... <laughs> what are you eating? A very spicy Italian sausage. <laughs> ah. Very spicy. That's a lot of spicy sausage. <laughs> like, it's making me sweat a little bit. <laughs> oh, there's a chem. Oh, is there now? What? The chems on Oxnard? No. <laughs> oh, is there a chems on Oxnard? I didn't look. I think there is. I, I don't think there is. Mm. There's uh, either a Kems or a Gallon. Or yes, both. there is. There are the Kems and, um... Uh, there's pesticide... Yeah, there's a Kems and a Gallon in Oxnard. Oh, interesting. Phoenix. Looking at something right now. <clears throat> Man, Z's dying. I am, just slightly. <laughs> Alright, let's go to Oxnard. Yay! All I right. get to be really heavy. And technically, Z supposed, and technically Z is supposed to lead because he's the heaviest. Fuck. Ha <laughs> But I'm the most experienced with heavy hauls, so that means I lead. Um, you're the most inexperienced? Is that what you just said? I am the most experienced with heavy hauls. Do you need me to say it any slower? I don't know, it still kind of sounds like you said inexperienced to me. I'm going to come up there and ram you so <laughs> <What>? freaking hard. <laughs> what do you think, Rusty? <laughs> I don't think I'm the best heavy hauls. Mm. I've yet to actually slip one. Oh, we both on that. <laughs> yeah, I've yet to slip I've one. I've only done it four times in multiplayer. Only four times. Okay, my chair I've came only off. done it four times in multiplayer. Two of which were over bumps, one of which was Z's fault. Which one was that? Uh, it was one of the ones where we were going around a corner and you weren't take it. You didn't take the line hard enough, so you bumped me, and that bumped me into the guardrail, which bumped me over. I don't think that happened. That did happen. I think you're lying. 
I'm not lying. How many times have you bumped me through a corner and I've gone into a guardrail or something and went over? Well, funny, it's more than... But not with a heavy haul. Yes, with a heavy haul. <laughs> nah, you're just uh, making it up. Rusty Zenon pissing me off. It is can my specialty can after all. Can we, can, we, can we kick him out of the Discord? <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> oh, that's so true. That is so true. What? So I just went and looked at my buddy's Snapchat. He's got a picture of him with a Bud Light Platinum and a box of Girl Scout cookie <laughs> thin mints, and it just the only caption is America. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's a pretty good description. I'll say the Platinum is a horrible but it's not you know the greatest there just no, needs to be some sort of old truck in the background to be perfect it's i, I mean it's not terrible i've had it a few times and it's def i can definitely stomach it kicks better than just the straight stuff but i don't i, mean, I don't like soda no so <laughs> it's not soda it's beer it's bud light oh i don't like that either so <laughs> well i say platinum is better than miller i will give you that all right, Z, we're pulling over out here. Mm-hmm. And we're going to wait for Rusty to get the gal. Yep, I'm hustling balls to get this trailer. Nah, I, that's fine. Well, I got this 389 wave paint job ultra cab up my ass through the corners. Like, seriously, dude, like, come on, give me some space. Like, I can't even downshift while I'm, you know, possibly re Right. <laughs> I'm in. Uh. Over that, come on. But yeah, so it worked. So our pallet jack, our new one, had an air leak. And so we found this one I didn't know we had. It was it's an old one, um, stashed in the corner, has sitting there for like probably like years. We did some research, it's from the eighties. This thing has like eighteen steel rollers on it. Huh. Yeah, between both forks. They're like super long. Really? It's loud, it sounds like a freight train just roaring by. It's like ridiculous. <laughs> Wait, so what do you do? Like, are you just Me, a warehouse worker? I am warehouse, so Roger's supply. I do like AC, um, furnace type. Anything for AC or furnace, that's what I basically I, I do. Oh, okay. I was going to say, because I, what I've been doing for work on the weekends now, because I got fired from the job I had been working at, is I, I was sending pictures to Z about it. I uh, My stepdad used to work for a trucking company, and he, he's off of their dime now, but they called him back for a favor, and now he's off of that, but his buddy's doing it. Where they they distribute to a lot of like the party cities and five belows and whatnot around my area, but what happens is they, ha they have both semis and their 26-foot box trucks. Their semis go and get the load and then come back, but those loads are all boxes and they're just stacked wall to wall, floor to ceiling in the truck, and they're just loose boxes. They're not on pallets or anything. So, what we have to do is we have to unload the 53 foot box trucks, take all the boxes off of them, sort them onto the correct pallets, then stack the pallets, wrap them, and then put them in the warehouse where they need to be. So, we're basically running warehouse staff unloading these trucks and each truck can have over a thousand boxes on it depending well, on how small the, they are yeah too, like... the 60s called it wants its job back ha ha <laughs> well i do about the exact same thing except it's usually more heavier stuff i mean i, mean, I was stuck <clears throat> i mean when i 
when I say it's like the party stays and whatnot, some of those boxes still weigh like 50, 60 pounds. It's well, ridiculous. You can try uh, 150 pound uh, water heater. Fair enough. Yeah, go I've do that. Lift, I've had <laughs> to lift those before. They're a pain in the ass. Not lift them, but try to drag them and heave them onto the skids within the trailer, you know, before you can actually pull them out. Right. I can Flyers. imagine that. I imagine that's just as much of a pain in the ass. I imagine it's also very I, hot work. I'm, a, I'm also the one who <laughs> usually gets stuck with the pallet jack moving the pallets around. Those pallets usually weigh a couple hundred pounds. Well, at least they're on wheels. <sighs> yeah, that, those pallet jacks don't really lift the pallets off the ground. They kind of just get it to the point where you can roll it. Mm. So they kind of levitate it. Yeah, they, they can, don't yeah, really they, roll. No, they don't do what they're supposed to be doing anymore because they're old. <laughs> I'll tell you what, uh, last week while I was working over there, um, we had just finished stacking up a pallet and we're going through the, we had just went through the process of wrapping it and we go to, I go to stick the pallet jack under it and it only gets halfway under the pallet, but once it gets halfway in, the entire, the back half of the pallet shifts. Nah. I'm like, whoa, hold on a second. So I go and look over on the left side of the pallet. The left side of the pallet's fine. Go look on the right side of the pallet. The pallet's breaking in half. <laughs> nice. Like, it's, I wish I had taken a picture of it. Like, the entire the pallet was breaking in half on the right yeah, side. Can, it was oh, that's amazing. Um, so I go over to my stepdad, and I'm like, uh, Mike, what do you want me to do with this? And he's like, just shove the pallet jack under it. I don't care. It, it's not my problem. It's whoever ha who it's whoever gets stuck with the pallet. And I was like, <laughs> Fair enough. okay, one of those drivers is gonna be real pissed tomorrow when they have to load this and it breaks in half. Cause I put it down and it was on the verge of breaking in half. So I bet you ten bucks that whoever on un whatever unlucky soul was the one who got stuck delivering that pallet when he took it to its destination as he was taking it off the truck, it broke it, in half. It I probably can was all over the floor. Oh, I guarantee, I guarantee it. I, either while he was, either while he was loading the truck or unloading the truck, that pallet or broke in half. In motion. I was just about or, to say, what if it was while the truck was moving? Oh, I don't doubt it. That that boxes would have just been all over that truck, and half of that pallet was some of the lightweight boxes, so those things would have been everywhere. <laughs> I think there were also, I think there were also three fragile boxes on the top of the pallet. Whoop. <laughs> So, uh, GG to whoever got that, <laughs> excuse me, whoever got that truck, because, or whoever had to take that pallet, because they, they got screwed by us, but we just didn't care, we had been there for four and a half hours already, we just wanted to go home. Well, be mine, and I'm doing the water heaters, we had like 500 of them. Oof, that's gotta and blow. Were, so imagine 53 is like, you know, filled to the max, you know, in this With one layer, and, was this water heaters? That's all like 150 pounds a piece. That's gotta suck. It didn't hurt. Suck as bad as how it, I did suck because because everyone else this you know we're short staffed to begin with, but right. then we're pressured to get this done, you know, in a timely manner. Right. You know, and I, they got I this you know, cool on this forklift all day. Right. Not stuck with a pallet jack. Well, right. They didn't have to. I think I'll put them, you know, load them, and you and tape them. We did. We didn't have any plastic wrap and stuff. Right. I know, use like the the tape guns to tape them a couple times. Right. And I mean, it held. It was fine as long as you keep them snug and together. I mean. Well, hey, if it works, it works. But I mean. <clears throat> but I can imagine that. Well, and they're all going up on racks anyway, so I mean, it's not like they're really going anywhere, and, you know. Right. I'll, I'll, just, I'll just say this. I, I once had to help lift, I think it was a 220-pound water heater out of a basement. So we had to go up this really narrow freaking staircase with it, so there was no way to get a good grip on it. And I was the unlucky bastard who didn't get the side that has the legs. So I'm trying to grip this tank. That's completely smooth, and I can't get a grip. And I'm trying to walk backwards up a set of stairs, carrying a 200. 
<laughs> completely, smooth. completely smooth. My hands are already sweaty. <laughs> completely smooth. My hands are already sweaty from working that day. I'm walking backwards up the stairs that are just wide enough for this water heater to fit in. And I'm I'm tired as it is, and the thing weighed 220 pounds. Oh you gotta god, bear that hell. bitch. Gotta bear grip that bitch. It's you couldn't. Right. There there was no room. You couldn't just get around it because. I mean, this thing was basically bumping the walls on both sides of the staircase as we were going up. You couldn't get around it, so you just had to go from the bottom. So what I ended up having to do was there was a seam where the top of the water heater was. I had to basically just stick my fingernails in that and push up with my knuckles and hope that I didn't rip all my fingernails off. That sucked. I didn't get to experience this personally, but I, my dad and... Possibly one of my brothers did something similar, put, putting the water heater in the basement. Oh, I can imagine. I, I was too young to actually help, though. So. Well, that's convenient. Uh, Z, I'd be be careful. I'd be careful. <laughs> I'd, I'd be, be very careful because uh, I'm still in my dev cam, so I'm, like, controlling an RC truck right now. Uh, so I'm like about to lose my truck. Uh, oh Christ! Uh, you're a bit to the, go to the left a little bit. Yes, I know. I'm trying to catch up with my camera so that I can keep driving. Oh Christ, that's a turn. It's okay, well I'm on interstate. Don't know where you guys are, but um. Uh, we're just down in Gallup. Oh. I'm probably out of Gallup, so. Oh yeah. Christ! Drive. It's you time know. To drive the, get on the interstate. If there, if it weren't for the lag, what would be really fun to do would be if you like watched me on Steam or vice versa, and then drove your truck from my point of view. Oh God. We can't do that because of the lag, but that would be so fun to do. Like that one, if you ever played Driver San Francisco, there's that one mission you gotta do that. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's cool. I love that mission. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. The whole I will consume your soul and your body and. Yep. Yeah. I flop. <laughs> oh god, that makes me think of the As Def song. By the way, I just on the 40. You just got on the 40? I'm on the 40, yeah. I, I'll get pulled. Well, we are about to be on the 40. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Okay>. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's a little scratchy still from the... I was yeah, about to say, you trying to, you trying to say something back there, Z. <laughs> And I've got Flim working up too. It just, yeah. Yeah, I'm the same way right now. Oh, jeez. Bye, Z. I just happened to look behind me. My trailer was leaning so hard. <laughs> yep. Oh. Um, crap. I need fuel. That I'm is rather important. Uh... Well, yeah, feeling there's a uh, fuel station. I'm gonna laugh if he's at, if he's. I, I'm pretty sure he is. Station. That's exactly what I was thinking. I was about to say I think he's just coming into Gallup. Indian pilots take next exit. Ooh. No, it's that really big one. You gotta pull in and you got the uh, little bear. Is it the one where we? The pillar. Is it the one where it, when you're taking the corner, there's those like little yellow things, and if you hit them, you think they'll just fall over, but they like. Yeah, the yellow pillar, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, you're about, pulling yeah. into the Gallop one. <laughs> okay. That is the Gallop one? That's not the Gallop one. That's the ga yeah, that's the Gallop one. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It isn't. Yes, it, it is. It actually isn't. That one is between Gallop and the Albuquerque. No, it's not. Yes, it is, Bronco. I highly doubt it is. Well, it actually isn't. If Rusty, Rusty, when, when you stop your truck, can you look at the map and tell us where you are, please? I can read that sign. I can't read it from very far away. I'm not pulling in for inspection. Screw off. I'm at the Pure Energy. Pure that energy. Does, no, we need to know on the map where you are. Yeah. We need to know what where you are town-wise on the map. Um... I'm just inside Albuquerque. 
Yeah, see? He's between Albuquerque and Gallup. <clears throat> yeah, that's the one behind us. There are We're two behind us, Bronco! There are? Yeah, there's one right when you're coming into Gallup, and there's one between Gallup and Albuquerque. There's one between Albert Gallup and Albuquerque? Yeah, I don't remember that's that. where he is. Yeah, that's the one I'm at. Yeah, I see we're getting two. Yeah, because there's that one that when you go down the road, it goes to the chem factory. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one you're getting confused about. Oh. I don't yeah, know, New Mexico. Z, you gotta give me this. Both you and I know that we don't know New Mexico very well. Well, apparently, I, know I know New Mexico pretty well. <laughs> I see, I do. But we both know I that I don't know this map for <laughs> shit. <laughs> Well, that's why so I'm then why do you still that. argue with me about it? <laughs> because I thought I was right. If I'm going to, if I think I'm right, I'm going to argue. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's what happens when you two get two stubborn assholes together. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, you you, I also you? said I'm outside of Gallup, too. I did mention that as well. Yeah, that that's why I, I actually thought that he was outside of Gallup. Well, see, the thing is, I also thought he was outside of Gallup, but when you said the, the yellow pillar things, I knew that that wasn't the Gallup one, because that intersection doesn't work like that. Uh, okay. Well, that's why I didn't the, say the I funny thing Gallup. is, I should have known. The funny thing is, I should have known that, because I literally just stopped at the Gallup fuel station like yeah. half an hour ago to fill. Because the intersection for the Gallup fuel station is three-way, the intersection for the one he's at is two-way. Because yeah. that's why the yellow pillar's there. Yeah, you can't go straight, you can only go right. Exactly, where at, in Gallup you can go right and left, because left goes into town. Right. Okay. You yeah, think that's I why I said that. Oh, you're good. No, oh, I'm done, I just said I think you, you think I would have noticed that. That's all, <laughs> you're good. But that's why I said outside of Gallup, because I didn't say I'm in Gallup, because the one in Gallup, that would make sense. Right. That's why I said outside of Gallup. But it's all good. Yeah, I mean, we, we figured it out. We're all still friends. <laughs> For now. <laughs> <laughs> so someone buys a Volvo. Yep. You know basically. what? You can be... <laughs> so are, are you saying that by, if you have your company running and I come to you with a Volvo, you're not going to hire me? Pretty much, yeah. Rusty say they're going, I will not confirm nor deny. <laughs> <laughs> he, yeah. he's trying, I've got a he's friendship trying. hanging on the line here. <laughs> well, it's fair though, which, which, uh, which uh, reaction do you want? Do you want the positive one, you know, or the negative one? I want the honest one. <laughs> well, none of them are honest. You know. <laughs> what would your first reaction be if I came up to you driving a Volvo looking for a job? He'd probably slap you. <laughs> That's what I do. Just make some sense of you, boy. <laughs> just walk slowly, walks aside, lifts the, the open sign to close. <laughs> <laughs> Draws the blind, locks the deadbolt. <laughs> Turns the lights out. Low, just, just open, open side, switch to close. Just pops in. L wow. Locks, locks the door, pulls the deadbolt, puts the screen down, just hides in the office. For the record, I'm going to college for business management. If I'm not with you, I'm going to be against you. Shit. <laughs> I'm also, well, I'm going to college for heavy diesel maintenance, so you're going to see me no matter what. No, really, just said I really wouldn't care, honestly. You guys are family to me, you know? I mean, right. I think we all belong together. I'm, I'm sure we could get along. I will I will tell you this, though, Z. If... If I'm working for Rusty and I'm his mechanic and you make me work on a Volvo, I'm going to prank this shit out. Oh, I'm sure you would. I am going to put flour in your air vents so many times <laughs> that you will be white. <laughs> <laughs> like, like I'm not talking tan white, I'm talking white. Uh, you're, you're talking uh, Zon and his pastel form white? I'm, I'm talking Altivo gloss white. <laughs> I will find some way to make flour gloss white. I will figure it out. <laughs> I was about to say, flour isn't gloss white. <laughs> I will find a way. I will find a way, damn it. I will paint the flour. You might as well just put paint, paint in my air I will paint the flour. 
just have wet paint sitting in my events. It'll do much better. No, I don't think you'd like me getting wet paint all over your seats. I wouldn't my I wouldn't really like you getting flour all over my seats either. You can vacuum that up. You can't vacuum up wet paint. You have to get the you'd have to get the seats reupholstered. I don't think you'd want to do that. Mm. Let's call it a wet vac. That's <laughs> yeah. how you get it out. It depends on how much trust he's paying me. <laughs> well, it depends on if I want to hide the wet back on you or not. I well, do that too. It depends on the loan too, because I have to be conscious about the loan. I don't want to go like ungodly massive on the loan. I'm thinking 300000 would be more enough to get a building, some trucks, some trailers. I mean, oh, I'm sure. Look at his logically not go overboard and still have some. Yeah, you know, so. Some yeah, I mean, like, a truck sold at an auction around me for like four grand recently so i mean uh, a running truck called, i mean some of the trucks on craigslist around where i am that are running they're 20 30 40 000, depending on how old you want to get but um yeah no there's a uh fire's got a business and over oh, the next woods also the building is over there i want it's ninety thousand. it's Seven and a half thousand square feet. It's Damn, a, it's, <clears throat> that's pretty sizable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's got two garage doors, so like two bays. Like you could fit, you could run a semi through. So it's yeah, two sided. I mean, if the building bays. If the building was long enough, you could easily fit four trucks in. You could fit two trucks in a bay if the building's long enough. It probably is big enough. You probably could. You'd be a little tight, but you could probably could fit. Yeah, I mean, if you go bump, if you go bumper to bumper. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, right. the company my dad works for, uh, his boss's garage, it only has four doors, but it's long enough, lengthwise, that if you had to, you'd probably fit seven trucks in that garage. Right. But, yeah, the building is 90000 I saw it was like, that'd be perfect, it'd be 100000 it'd be decent. Yeah. It's, it's got and... working plumbing, it's got three op rooms in it. So, actually, this is this is something that I should bring up, because if this is something that we're going to try to go through and do, and if you want to bring me in as the shop guy, as the mechanic, that the school... Kind of plan. Well, right, I'm just, I'm just pointing this out. The school that I'm going to, Alfred State, they don't provide me with my tools. I have to buy everything. And once I get... And I'm going for heavy, I'm going for heavy diesel maintenance. So, half of my tools have to be specified to heavy diesel engines. Yeah. And be, and I mean I have to buy an entire welding kit I have to tire, buy an entire air compressor kit when I get out of school the only two things I'm going to need is a TIG welder and air compressor and I will basically have an entire shop's worth of tools it's two to six thousand dollars for all the tools I have to buy depending on what company I buy them from so basically what he's saying is if you hire him you won't have to buy tools <laughs> basically yeah I just yeah, thought I'm... the shit out of this kid <laughs> <laughs> I the shit out of this kid it's like oh god you came on me fast yeah <laughs> Oh, but, you just scared me. This but like... I mean, it, if if I come in, I will. I can bring all my own tools. We don't have to spend four thousand dollars. No. Equipping the, equipping a bay with an entire set of tools. I can bring all my own, and then we gotta spend maybe five hundred on an air compressor and two hundred on a TIG, and we're good well, to go. Well, you get Wait, it um, less than that for Harbor Freight. Well, I mean, if we're gonna get some like industrial strength one for oh. some of the big, big bolts on a diesel, I mean, yeah, you're gonna, you're good, you're not gonna want just a small air compressor. You're gonna want no. a big stand. You're gonna want a big standing one. But they got some decently big ones. I mean, even at Harbor Freight, you get on their website, they got some decent ones. I mean, they're not. Oh, I'm, I'm sure. I, I could probably go through and find a perfect one for four, like I said, three, four hundred bucks. And then all I would need is a TIG welder, and I'd have to get a jack system that could hold the weight of a semi truck, but that would probably only be another two thousand dollars. Yeah, it's just, I don't know. I'd have to get the building first, lay it out how I think we need it. Right, exactly. It, right. it would be an entire process. But... Let, me, let me get on in, in on this real quick. Seeing as we're selling ourselves, obviously I like <laughs> Volvos. I'll drive anything. Anything you can yes. put me in, I will drive. <laughs> he he so literally he, will. 
So you bought, drive a shitty. If you give me a 300 horsepower bright yellow truck with a six-speed automatic, I'll.